Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can clone different projects from GitHub to your local machine so that you can start working on some projects locally on your laptop. So if we head over to GitHub and what I'm planning to do is clone this introduction to Git and GitHub ebook uh, repository and I'm planning to update the readme file and include a link to the pedo course that I'm just recording in the readme file. So as you can see Currently it just says coming soon, but as we are almost ready with the mini video course, I'm going to update the information here and add a link to the playlist that we have on YouTube. This playlist includes all of the videos that we've recorded so far. So the first thing that I want to do is click on the code button and then copy the clone URL here. So if I copy that and then head over to my terminal, at the moment I'm currently in the demo project that we've been working on. So let's exit that folder. Now I'm inside the projects folder and what I can do is use the git clone command to clone the repository from GitHub locally to my laptop. So I will just do git clone and then paste the URL that I've copied. As it starts with git add, this means that I'm using SSH as we already covered in one of the first videos. So if I run that, this is going to ask me for my SSH key passphrase. And then once I enter that, it would start cloning the content of the repository from GitHub to my laptop. So now if I use the ls command, I can see that we have the introduction to Git and GitHub ebook directory here. Using the cd command, I can access the directory. And now if I run pwd, I'm now inside the directory. I could actually run git log and see all of the commits that I've done in the past for that repository. Now, what I want to do is edit the readme file Actually, before doing that, let's quickly create a new branch so that we could practice that as well. Currently, we are on the main branch. So if I run git branch, I can see that I'm on the main branch. Let's go ahead and create a new branch with a git checkout minus b command. And let's call this video course. Hit enter. Now I've switched to the new branch. And now I can edit the readme file and go to the coming soon line. So let's delete that. And I have already prepared the text that I want to put in. I'll just copy it from here so that you don't have to watch me type it. Basically, I'm just saying that whoever prefers watching videos rather than reading the book, they can find the video right over there. I'll save that. Now, if I run git status, I can see that this file was modified. And if I run git diff, we can see that the coming soon line was deleted. And then we can see the two new lines here. Okay, so now if we do git add and add the file, and then if we do git commit and add a message saying add link to video course, commit that. And now what we can do is push this branch to GitHub and then create a pull request for this branch to be merged to the main branch. So let's see that in action. What we would do is run git push origin and then the name of the new branch. If I run that, then type my passphrase. Now, Git is providing me with a URL that I could actually visit to create a pull request. We're going to cover pull requests more in depth in the next video. If I visit that, I'm able to provide some description on what this pull request does. I would just say that it adds a link to the video course. Then if we scroll a little bit down, we can actually see what has changed. And here we can see that the coming soon line is gone and the, the two new lines that we've just added, actually three new lines because there was an empty line here. Now, the important part here is that we are merging the video course branch to the main branch. If you were working with other people, you would add somebody to review your change. For example, I cannot hear my brother as a reviewer. And then I can create the pull request by hitting this button here. Now, as you can see, we have one pull request here. Actually, if we click on that, you can see the pull request. And then you can see the details about the pull request. You can see the commits that were made. You can see which branch is going to be merged into the main branch. 
and we can also see the files that were changed and the actual changes. A pull request is just like merging one branch to another, but via GitHub. As this is just a minor change, I'm not going to wait for my brother to approve it, and I'm just going to hit the merge pull request button here. I would confirm the merge. Now, this was merged, and I'm actually going to delete the video course branch as we don't really need it. Now, if we go to the repository again, we are on the main branch, and now if we scroll down, we can see that the video course section has been updated, and if we click on the link, it takes us to the YouTube playlist. And this is pretty much it. This is how you can clone a repository with the git clone command from GitHub to your local machine, and I also showed you how you can make a change and push it to GitHub. I hope you find this useful, and if so, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I'll see you next.